Happy Wisdom Wednesday, friends. Yesterday was Travel Tuesday, today's Wisdom Wednesday, so I'm coming to you with a little educational video, putting my Insurance 101 guy cap on today. The bad news is um, insurance rates are going up and they're not going down. Listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. Listen. They're not going down anytime soon. They're going up. Uh, now, not to say that every single insurance company is going up. Some of them, like this many, have actually taken a rate decrease. Great. But those are the companies that have taken rate increases for the last three or four years. So, Relatively speaking, it's not really a decrease. You're just going back to what you were paying a couple of years ago. Until we all have self-driving cars and they're self-insured by the manufacturers, they're not going down. The myth that insurance rates go down when you're a good driver has been debunked for like 20 years. Okay, I've been driving for almost 20 years and never gone down. Uh, it makes sense though, right? How much was your 2000 Honda Civic? $10,000? How much is a brand new Civic? $20,000? How much does it cost to replace the bumper on that Honda? 300 bucks. How much does it cost to replace the bumper on a Honda nowadays? $3,000 minimum. Did your 2000 Honda Civic have backup cameras, sensors all the way around, power windows, a CD player? No, probably didn't. And if it did, you got the all options version and uh, you're a spoiled little brat. Nowadays, 2000 Civic, your, your entry level car is gonna cost you 17 to $20,000. What's the state minimum liability limits with auto insurance? $5,000 on property damage. No wonder the rates are going up. It costs more to repair vehicles. It costs more to buy vehicles. The state minimum hasn't changed in over 25 years. Actually, I think it's been more like 30 years. The point being that cars are going up. Uh, although they are getting safer, which is great, um, insurance companies are paying more money to repair and replace cars. What about a Tesla? Um, if you had a bumper on a Tesla, guess how much that cost? No, it's not $3,000. It's not $30,000. You usually total a Tesla when you rear end it because all of those 19 batteries are back there. That's an $80,000 car. So insurance companies are paying more money. And the fact of the matter is here in California, especially in Northern California, the Bay Area, LA, San Diego, Teslas are almost equal. I should say electric cars are almost equal in market share than entry level cars. It's just so much, it makes so much more sense, right? They save on gas, so it makes sense to spend a little bit more money on the vehicle. Well, that then raises up the average cost of replacing or repairing vehicles. The market is going up. That's the bad news. The good news is, delivery guy just came in with a babysitter with the pizza. Awesome. All right, so the good news. You've got a friend in the industry. You've got me, the insurance 101 guy. Call on BG. That was dumb. Um, imagine you had a friend in the industry. On Black Friday, you could send out. They would deal with all the crowds. They would find the parking. They would go to all the sales. In fact, they knew where all the sales were. And you gave them a list of what you wanted. And they went out and found it at the best price. And in fact, those uh, companies paid them, your friend, to go and do the shopping for you. So you didn't have to pay them a dime. They found you the best deals on the market and they came back to you and said, here's everything that you wanted. Merry Christmas, right? In fact, we saved you money from what you gave us. You gave us a budget and we gave you more for less. And guess what? That's me, that's this guy. That's what I do. I go out and shop, I find you the best deals, I get you better products, services, and I bring them back to you with more money than you had before you started. I'm the insurance 101 guy. I'm your personal shopper in the insurance industry. So when you get your renewal, and it's more than what you paid last year, in fact, if it's the same as what you paid last year, I will see if there's better deals out there for you, better quality, and come back to you and either say, here, I've put more money in your budget for the holidays and for saving for tax season, and I've got you better products than what you currently had. And here's why. I'm gonna tell you what's the difference between what you had and what you now have. Worst case scenario is I come back and say, hey, you've got the one company that's the best deal on the market for you specifically. And you wasted four minutes of your life giving me the information that I needed to go and give you that proposal. So put me to work. I'm the Insurance 101 guy, give me a call and I'll hook you up this holiday season.